Five minutes, fellas. Five minutes. I right, appreciate it, man. Oh, okay. You getting that bed in before the boom, oh, huh? Yeah, yeah, LA all the way. <laughs> what? Oh, come on, man. You know it's Boston, baby. KG, I understand why you said it, but it's LA. Jay, are you serious? You know what? It's LA. Why are you standing up? Because it's LA. L you know what? You ain't scared me. Let me tell you something. That ain't it's enough. Boston, Boston, Boston. It's LA. Who fans? It's your boy KG, AKA the big ticket. And you know what time it is? It's playoff time. I'm pumped up to team up with the King of Sportsbook for the most exciting time of the year. As the season heats up, everything matters more. Every shot, every block, every dunk, you name it, it's up there. Time to capitalize on BetMGM's new first bet offer. Use my code KG1500, yes, code KG1500, when you place your first wager bet on basketball. Simply register an account and place your first bet. If luck isn't on your side, don't worry. You'll receive a stack back in bonus bets up to $1,500. Yes, $1,500. Gear up for the NBA playoffs right away with KG Certified and BetMGM, an authorized gaming partner of the NBA. Let's get it. So I'm going to the Final Four to play in this little three-on-three -three oh, thing. man, y'all And then it's like me, him, I think Nick Young playing, Boogie, Young? Boogie, Boogie playing. Boogie? Yeah. Oh, word? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that means you got to guard Boogie, Lord. I know, it's blowing me. I think oh, I yeah. match up with him first he game. Finna, he, finna, he finna DJ yeah, burn he, he, your yeah, ass. I know, he, been, he, finna, <laughs> he finna take the whole 14. <laughs> man, I'm about to foul the shit out of here. Man, shit. <laughs> you don't have to. Boogie still can play, man. Boogie oh, no, need to be in the came league. From fucking Puerto Rico. Boogie need to be in the league, going to man. Taiwan in a week. That's man. what I'm saying. He's going Boogie. back to Taiwan. Oh. Really? T1 league, yeah. He's a legend in Taiwan. Yeah. Hey, tell Boogie go over there, build a mountain, goddamn. Fuck, fuck the states, man. I had to tell some young boys this, boy, if they loving you, they showing you different energy somewhere, boy, you got to go there. He likes it. He likes it there. It would be a second time going back. To Taiwan? Yeah, he, he said he really liked it. Pete, go get, get it in it's Taiwan. Probably. Go get it cracking in Taiwan, Pete. <laughs> Taiwan come with a car right now. Five mil, you gone. Hey, I told Q. Yeah, all right, right. I said on, on camera right, yesterday, next, hey, Q, next. give me... Next. Give me 2.5, I'll play in the big three. Man, <laughs> That's all cap, boy. That's all cap with Caitlin, huh? I mean, it's great dog. publicity, though. He got everybody on it talking about, you know. Right. He ain't got the type of numbers for that. So listen, this is what I want to go ahead and say. Until, until men's college gets a long-distance shooter, women's, women's, women's college basketball is going to be in front of Men's basketball for a while. You see the rating of the LSU. Twelve Iowa million. Game? Absolutely, I see. You it's know, I listen. More than it's any anything, other sport. it's cracking right now. But think about that it, bro. Game? Twelve point no. three million. More than like every NBA game, NHL everything. game, not MLB the Super Bowl. finals, not the Super not the Bowl. Super Bowl. But, but every talking about everything that's, that we that we watch, huh? Every, every Thursday. Thursday night game. That was like a national championship type game, bro. Listen, and then what you think this Paige Becker, uh, Caitlin Clark, finna be like, boy? Oh yeah, this finna be the get on. I wish this was the final four right here, but. You know, Don and the girls and NC State. This ain't the. This is the final four. Oh, Lord, this is the final four right here. But this is this game right here is the game you want to watch. Paige Becker and Caitlin Clark, man, don't get no better, boy. So the question I had, just kind of going off of that big rating, how can that kind of carry over to the the WNBA? Because we've seen col women's college basketball do so well in the last couple of years from a rating standpoint, fan standpoint. And a lot of these women are now going to the WNBA. How can it carry Hit over? Up. Hit me up. This is, this, this is my take on this. Okay. okay. Today's game is all about the long ball, right? If you shoot the long ball like Steph Curry, Dame Lillard, you are considered up here in this, in this generation. The, the long ball is where it's at, bro. Don't mind care. If you got skills, you got shake, you got wiggle, that's cool. But if you got a long ball, I ain't talking about some shoot at the free throw line, three-point line shit. I'm talking about this shit when you got to do this right here when you turn around. This is what I'm talking about, distance. The reason why everybody's man, on this like this is because this girl is playing so much different than any other girl in college. Paige Becker, uh, Juju, and, and Caitlin Clark are playing so different than everybody else. Just think about how many girls are in college, right? I'm, I'm, being, I'm talking mm -hmm. about the game here, right? These three are distinct. When I say these names, they are generational talents, and they are playing like it. Shorty shooting the ball from 40, 50, that is a coach's nightmare, by the way, 
Because that is a really inefficient shot. I'm just being 100. So you got to work on that. So for her to be 9 for 20 from that long, come on, man. You, you, you take, bro, my definition of growth is when you take something and you make it better. And that's what they're doing. They made the college game not only stimulating and interesting, but competitive from talent to talent. Bro, why we love boxing? Because we want to see the two best fighters get in there and see who wins with that whole, you know? So yeah. from this whole thing, bro, nothing in sports has this right here, this dynamic. The NBA is probably, the NBA, NFL, obviously uh, the pro leagues, but nothing like this has this type of electricity to it, this type of uh, stimulation to it, and this type of narratives, bro. Man, Paige Becker got hurt two years ago when she was low-key. They were saying she was either better than Caitlyn or they was on the same whatever, but she was the it. She was Caitlyn before Caitlyn. No, nah, Caitlyn was Caitlyn. Paige Becker was Paige well, Becker. Well, Paige, two years ago, be, well, her freshman year, she was National Player of the Year. Man, she was cracking, cracking. She was the best time. player. Hands and down, then that's what I'm saying. She got hurt her second year, came back, then she got hurt. Right. And missed the whole year. And now she's back to remind everybody that Y'all must have forgot. I'm that one. Right. Right. She's back. She back. Like, let everybody right. know I, I'm that one. Man, y'all forgot. So, I love this matchup. I love the dynamic of it. Angel Reese. I love how LSU and all the girls, how they push that narrative of strong women. And, and yeah, y'all, 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 y'all trying to beat us up. And, bro, I'm just, I'm in all the narratives, bro. And what I'm saying is I don't see nothing like this across the board that's competitive. But when I watch the men's, men's game, man, the men's game need another level of development. They, they, I'm watching guys that, I'm watching players be able to turn the corner and, they, and the handle ain't even there to turn the corner. I'm, I'm watching a two chest pass might go through somebody's hands and I get it, it's college. I'm not, I'm not looking for the imperfections. I'm actually trying to pull, pull the pluses out of it, but I'm just seeing a very, very distinction from the development. Well, college, like the, the, the men like the stars right no, now. I'm there saying, ain't nobody like out there who like distinct that you like. That's what I'm I, saying. I can't even think of five I'm guys in college. I'm talking about the but, development, though. The girls are developed more than the guys. But they in got the superstars, too. Like, man, we gonna watching these, these girls is hooping. Like, it go beyond, oh, girl, that was in Notre Dame. That, the guard, she was, mm-hmm. man, They got a cold. three-headed monster over there in Notre Dame yeah, that's yeah, cold. Like, you know like, what I'm saying? Same thing in uh, South Carolina. It's like NC so many State. good. You know what I'm saying? There's so many good girls that can hoop, though. You like, and like. Yeah. Damn. And it's at the perfect time where you're seeing women, sports. Going to the next level. Going to it. I mean, women, everything. We got yeah. women presidents in the world. We got women, you know what I'm saying? So you're starting to see the rise of women go like this. And what what great two players do you have, man? I got to keep throwing Miss Reese in there because she's cause she going to be part of this whole little, this, this whole duration of moving the game, right? She just declared uh, this morning going to the WNBA. Yeah, that's, listen, they bringing all this to the game. They bringing all this from college, they finna bring it to the game. So it's going to help the WNBA. I look for the WNBA to be to be not, not just cracking, but I ooh. Think, it's, you know what I think, too? A part of the stardom and the popularity of the girls, I think the NIL has helped that because when I'm, like, watching these games and I see the girls in commercials now. Making money. You, you know what I'm saying? So it's helping, it's helping toward their brand, and you're seeing them, you know, not only on the court, but you're seeing them off the court. So now you can market stars, and then you can market – <clears throat> marquee matchups, you know, and then when they happen to see each other in the tournament or on the biggest stage, it's just taking it to another level. So now you ask, how can this carry over to the WNBA? This is how the league did Magic and Bird when, the, when those two supposedly saved the league. Mm-hmm. They promoted the matchups. This is the same right. formula, but college girls didn't have the players or didn't have the, the variety of players to be able to feature like this on this level. Mm-hmm. I mean, you can go to the back in time. We got countless girls and I played the game. I've never seen this type of insurgence of business with the women's game and the growth like this. Mm-hmm. Now, I've never seen it like this. This mm-hmm. is a one-of-one that what we're seeing. And uh, it's a dope time for the ladies to grow, man. I think, it's, I think it's inspiring. And, man, not only that, but it's been some great basketball, man. Y'all, see, y'all, y'all been watching the games? There's been some great fucking games going on with the women's basketball. That's another thing, too. The quality play is crazy. Yeah. Quality play is up, it's, 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 it's far to none. So, man, shout out to the ladies doing it, man. Shit, I'm, I'm watching all of it, man. I'm rooting for everybody. I, I, man, I, obviously I'm a South Carolina boy, but man, I can't, I can't dismiss uh, Paige Becker. I can't dismiss Caitlin. Can't dismiss NC State and what they doing. I'm, 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 I'm in, bro, straight up. I think it's great for the game, men and women. Let's get it, man. It's taking the truth. Let's ride. 
I don't even know who left in the NCAA tournament then. Who? I, I know Purdue in there, UConn. Nah, NC State, and big I fella. can't even name one. NC State. Big Burns. You ain't been watching oh, yeah, Big yeah, Burns? I know. I, yeah, that's all. Wait, wait. Little Z Bo. DJ Z Bo. Him. And then, and then the He's killed. Then. I was, hey, like Joker said, I love watching him play. You know what I love too, Lord? I love that he the first college player I see take the whole clock. Two, no, but listen, this three, is this is to my point. Four, nine dribbles. All right, so who left? You got NC State. Purdue. Purdue. What's the player name of Purdue? Zach uh, Eady. Eady. Zach Eady. 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 I'm asking him. Uh-oh. Big fella. I'm trying to make Oh, I ain't got nobody named now. That's what I'm trying to make. I'm big point. fella, old girl. Yeah, he can old name, shorty. He can name all the women, but he can't shorty name. Shorty Wop. Like, he can't name none of I'm the me. men. That's I mean, I don't, I don't know nobody no, named. I don't even call you Paul. I call no, you no, True. The, the point I'm making, <laughs> though, no, name. look, look. The point I'm making is that's what the women. We know the women and we don't know the men. Yeah. That's what I'm making. The point I'm making. The niggas ain't selling They ain't selling the men like they selling the women. The quality of the women's game is so yeah. much different than the men. That's you know yeah. what I'm saying. That's that's the only thing. That's the point I was just trying. Who number one playing in college right now? Man, I can't even tell you. They saying this might be the weakest draft ever. I might put my name in the draft. I can I can go number one right <laughs> now. <laughs> Man, so I can go number one in the draft man, right all, now. All these okay. niggas in the, in the college looking at you like, I'll bone the shit out of Pete right now. I'm so weak. All these old head, all the these draft. young boys like, oh, boom. Yeah, right. Go hey, to, the draft so go weak. Chicago, go to Chicago there, nigga. I'll put my name go. in the draft. <laughs> I can pick no one. Go to the combine, go to the combine oh, then, go nigga. Back to the go combine. to the combine <laughs> then. Hey, no, I need I to go to the combine. I see you get some sponsorship to the combine, man. Pete wanna. The what draft. you want, Pete? Pete so weak. You ain't shit, man. I ain't laughing at that. I'm about to put my name in the back in the draft. I'll be the first one. You ain't shit, Pete. You ain't shit. I want to. I want you to look at this chart. Oh yeah, I saw this. So this is from 20 years ago to today. The top 300 shot locations. From today to Wait. 20 years ago. Mean. Wait, what is this? this? Today? No, this is where we were, and this is where we at. Yeah, no mid. You ain't got no mid. No mids. No mids. So, no mids. You know, Paul, you, you had said a couple of weeks ago that you felt that Steph was the most influential person in the game. Does that shot chart say that, or do you guys think it's something different? That shot chart 100% says that. That's the influence Steph and, and the Golden State Warriors as a whole did to the game. See once they show, yeah. Once they showed you that you can win shooting three pointers, and be successful and be one of the best players just shooting threes. I mean, not that he don't do other things. Everybody felt like, okay, I can do that. But all this running, jumping from the free throw line, and this acrobatic shots, we can't. Everybody can't do that. But we all can shoot threes. Mm. James Harden and Houston Rockets started this. Y'all remember when Chris Paul and all them down? Yeah, for there? sure. He part of that too. Dan so Tony too. He started that. Dan Tony. I say this to say that they started that. Uh, the data. Remember they start playing with threes in the corner, threes at top are better yeah. or more valuable than mid range. Yeah, yeah. They start playing with that, right? Mm-hmm. James Harden. James Harden birthed that style. He 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 really he really like. Golden State is like a better version of what Houston was trying to do. Uh, you know what I'm saying? If I'm, if I'm explaining yeah, that right, yeah. at least that's what it feels like, right? Mm-hmm. So when I see that right there, they, they, are the, they are the reasons for that right there. They are the reasons that mid-range is dying and mid-range... Pete, Pete I, I ask you this. Man, can you imagine playing without the mid-range? That's what it like, is. You can't even set a three that's up, That's what it bro. is right now. That's what I'm saying, bro. Bro. The savants know this, man. You can't get two or three if you ain't took the two. I gotta get, I gotta, I gotta have you thinking. You know, the offense is all about stimulating the defense, man. If you got a good defender, he gonna jump out here and he gonna control how you moving. You, man, you gotta damn near like take it back. You know exactly players, what I'm saying. Players I'm saying, ain't even working on no post moves. This is crazy. This or is no media. This you, is you crazy. You working on a lot of the workouts that I'm seeing is is trying to get your handles right and get to the hole, or you shooting threes. Or you patent dribble off the uh, off the dribble three, but ain't no come stop at the free throw line pull up. Ain't no post up, woo woo up and under. It ain't none of that in the workouts then, no more. Then, then we failed as development, as the universal holders of the game and all the ones that develop and give knowledge to. We failed. If, the, if, if Nate just showed me that right there, are you talking about the the fucking uh, basically what you're saying is the two in the mid range is invaluable. Well, the, well, well the, just that area of the court. Like, you you could get the pick and roll mid-range shot is open all day. That shot, you could come off 
and get to that shot all day, and that's going to be probably the most open shots you can get, but players ain't working on that. Joel Embiid he still shoot the can't do anything other than mid-range, a trail three, and dunk the ball. If he don't have that mid-range, bro, a lot of what you see, he can't get to 71 without that mid-range. Yeah, he got that. Bro, you got to have that. that. You can't get to a three. I'm not. I'm not respect. Matter of fact, it's only a few people who still shoot it. SGA's like, got it. SGA's like, got, SGA. got it. He looking different. That's why his point's like that. Yeah. KD still shoots. KD definitely shoots that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Because you have to take it out. Bradley Bill, he's smart. He takes it. He takes it sometimes. Steph would take it. Yeah, Steph shooting so though. many threes now. Lot. That he'll take the two just to get you to honor that to get back to the three. That's what I'm saying. I don't see him. I don't see somebody play him for the three, come in, two step dribble, and he'll just go ahead and take that. Boom. And the next time, he'll fake that joint and then double step and get back to a three. That's what I'm saying, man, bro. You know how much game you cut out of it? Man, that's almost like that's almost like a 60% of your game. So you got no more post play? And you got no more mid ranges. You gotta have post play. You gotta have post play. Post play. Well, I'm just saying it's not. It's frowned upon now. <laughs> to be like, in the post? It's like if when you watch it, if you ain't Joel Embiid or the Sabonis, Joker. Sabonis, Sabonis putting Anthony Davis under the basket, nine dribbles. But you ah. ain't coming down. The days of us coming down and just dropping it in like three, four times in a row in the post is over with. That, mm-hmm. ain't, no, no, that, that ain't happening. Man, they throw the ball to Draymond Green about five times a game in the post, and all he's doing is flaring corner. That's it. Yeah, that's he not looking to score though. No, but that's just like an initiation. The the low post is like the high post now. But you're saying the post from what scoring position or the the low post where you get it. That's look they they you get near to look the pass now. Just like the high post. No, not ever. No, no, not always. Joel Embiid catches the on the post. He's only one. It's only two players Joker? posting up. Joker, Porzingis. Porzingis. Porzingis is posted posting. up. He's taking advantage of the small, a lot of mismatches. The small, yeah. He's posting up a lot at the free, free throw. throw line. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. It's, it's about four or five months. It's like six, seven motherfuckers Maybe posting Towns, up. Towns. Towns posted up. Rudy, got to post up. Rudy Gobert, that's what he does. But he's not really an offensive threat. He don't, I'm not I saying mean, that. Like, he a post up. He like more of a pick and roll lob, you know, guy. But like, he's not be, a guy. And you better be careful too, boy. I saw what? that French shit she was talking about, boy. Man, I be eating French fries all day. I do too, but... It don't mean I'm out here calling them out, calling them tough. Let me see, tough let me see one of them run there's some, up. There's some tough French ass niggas Where? out here. What's the nigga in the Where? UFC? The, Zero Gun. Zero Gun, oh, goddammit. Right, that shout is. to Zero Gun. Where, where, where? Fuck with you, young. Where you know what I'm saying? Well, he a UFC fighter? Yeah, he says too. He like three. Oh, yeah, he a UFC fighter. Anybody, I'm just saying, you could be a UFC fighter. No, no, I ain't say that. I'm saying that you was like, hey, no, I ain't really, you know what I'm saying? I understood what you were saying because I know you what the point you yeah, was making. Was I not right, though? Wait, is, uh, no, keep it 100. No, I keep it 100. Like, like you could ask any NBA player. No, I got you. We, we, go look at, we look at European players as being soft. That's the... the that's the narrative. That's, the, that's, 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 that's yeah, the that's what we perceive of them, right? That's the narrative. Whether man. it's true or not, that's what we... That's what we believe. Yeah. So I, that's all that way. Well, no knock on Rudy or not. That's, that's any European player we look at like, oh, they soft. Now, are some tough? Hell yeah. I thought Manu Ginobili and, and Joker tough. I mean, Louis, y'all tough, but they perceived as being soft. Mm. And that's 100%. It ain't just me. You can ask anybody in the No, league. that's the perception of you. That's the perception. Uh, I don't know if today's, yeah. What about the new wave? What about Wemby? Yeah. <laughs> He got skills. He can hoop, man. That, it ain't nothing about, oh, it's saying. just their personality come off as, you know, they don't come off as like no enforcers. I ain't, nah, I ain't seeing them get in nobody's face. They don't really get, that's not, that's not their culture. You know, that's American culture. When we yeah. grow up in a hood, playing in the streets, talking shit, shit. And, and, and just like, what's up? You might turn into a fight in the park. Like, you know, they not coming from that. Now, Europeans come from some real shit. They come from a war, bro. They coming from yeah, walking I, to school in the war, that. bombs and all, all type. I'm being dead ass, bro. bro you we, go talk that, to that's not hand to hand combat. No, nah, I'm talking about Serbians. I'm talking about the Croatians. I'm talking about some of these, yeah, some sure, of these foreign man. places that, man, they, these kids, the Georgian, man, go talk to Skeeter. It ain't Skeeter got nothing Stalker to do with me. what they've been through. It's just how they perceive. Nah, I'm just, man, you putting it like American players come under some type of different cloth when. Yeah. Ho, 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 listen to me. Like, we come under some different cloth when European players coming under a whole different way of life, bro. When you start digging through their past, and I play with a bunch yeah, of, I get it. Uh, you know, international players, they're soft to the point to where we're saying they're not aggressive Yeah. as American players. But they're not, they're aggressive. Uh-huh. They're, not, they're not like pushovers or no shit like that. Uh-huh. And I think I that's what that. the assumption comes off when you say 
you know, non-aggressive or whatever. That's what I'm saying. I mean, okay. they like pastries. You know what I'm saying? I like, I like, <laughs> man, I, I like you. Randy's donuts. I told you, bro. When you start calling grown men like adjectives, no, I'm bro, saying, that, I that said they like pastries, dog. Nah, like, ain't nothing man. wrong with that. You look, you, you ain't nothing bad, wrong bro. with that, dog. All right, next thing I want to ask you guys about pastry. You call it <laughs> the cannolis? What you call? You like no, they like cannolis? Cannolis. <laughs> That's a goofy though, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> goofy ass cannoli. Cannoli. Like, oh, that's you out here calling niggas pastry. <laughs> no, I'm saying, come on, dog. <laughs> so when y'all hear that, that's that's why you be like, man, KG say shit make you up. Yeah, you're a fucking cannoli. Right. Like y'all know what cannolis is, go look it up. Right. All right. Uh Warriors, nice win last night against Dallas. Uh the question I have for you guys, if they remain the eight seed, they make it through the plane and they're the eight seed, which of the top three seeds between the T-Wolves, Nuggets, and no, Thunder should be most concerned. No, the Warriors right now. Yeah. I know, but I'm saying if they make it if in they and they're the eighth seed. If they the eighth seed, that's a problem. Who should be most concerned of those top three teams? Because every all day three. it's all of them are changing. No, only team that's not worried about the Warriors is Denver. But everybody else below that should be worried. Everybody at the two spot. Yeah, Minnesota. You know, because like right now you got Minnesota, OKC, Denver, and they all can flip flop. Flip flop. So whoever in that, if, if whoever get the one seed or the two seed, should be worried. The only ones that shouldn't be worried is Denver. But if Minnesota or OKC fall in that spot and have to see Golden State, should be worried. They should be worried. But Pete, what about Denver though? Because Jamal Murray's been out six games. What Pete is saying, and I want to piggyback with your, what you're uh, at least what you're alluding to, mm-hmm. is that when you got Bron and you got Steph. Ones that have won it before and got the league on their back, man. It's not Bron, looking Bron good, can, bro. Bron going to Bron and Steph are going to booth on your ass. You know what I'm saying? Like that and, first and, round and KD is, is yeah, in there another too. Mall, right? He, they all in that mix. She, that's and they saying. just coming off whooping on Denver at Denver too. Yep, and like, they looking like they about to turn the turn their little superpowers on the way mm-hmm. they've been playing. Mm-hmm. So. You got to worry about Phoenix too. I mean, I'm watching the league. Just everybody tightening up. You see how everybody tightening up? Everybody yeah, tightening is, up, man. Yeah, it's gonna be a problem at the top for for That's if, what I'm saying. if uh, That's what I'm saying. you know you got to see the Lakers first round the way they playing. They you got to see Golden State or Phoenix, or shit, man. I don't know. Even man, that's a problem down there. Sack, sack down there, and in the play in too. So one of them four teams ain't gonna make it. New Orleans can fall in that group because they only a game behind. But the what? bottom right now could really, really put some heat on all the teams at the top in the first round the matchups. The bottom is going to definitely put some heat on the top. What? Yeah. Man, listen. First off, ain't no easy nothing in this. They're going to no. have to go through somebody that's real, and it's going to have to be tough, and they gonna, and that's part of the road. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But to get to the champ, you got to be the champ. You know what I'm saying? And a bunch of that's about to happen. This is what molds your team. This is what grows your team, though. Right now, I'm trying to maneuver. Truthfully, I'm trying to maneuver if I'm at the top. I'm looking at the last five games like, okay, we should jump into this little two or three seed. Or, you know what I'm saying? How you maneuver at the end of the year and you're like, all right, let's settle into this seed because we match up better with them. That should be whoop sometimes, though, P. Dallas tried to do that thought getting Golden State and then got what they asked for and got, got slapped in the mouth, bro, straight up. It ain't going to be no easy wins in this playoff, yeah. bro. So whoever they play at the top, playing at the bottom, you have to see one of them. And guess who down there? KD. Right now, Run. the safest. Right now, the safest seed is the four, five, six seed. Mm, that's because you ain't got none of them superstars. In yeah, yeah. You, 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 you safe if you in there, kind of like three, six, four, five. Yeah, you. Right. That's you, it. That's the safe zone, kind of. That's it. That's it. That's, it. <laughs> that's the safe zone. You want to be a three, four, five, six kind of range six, right now. You in some shit. After six, you After are in some shit. No, one and two, you in some shit. I said. Yeah, you want to be the three because you play the six, which is New Orleans or or Sac or you Clips. know, yeah, you know, Clips is yeah, like like yeah, you yeah. cool. But if you got to see Brian, Katie, or Steph right now, Nothing on seven that games. ain't no safe zone right ain't now. No seven games. Uh, speaking of the plan, let's go east now and talk about the Sixers. Embiid returned uh, Tuesday night. What'd you feel about that? You like big fella coming back? Did you like that? Is, uh, oh yeah, definitely. He gonna put a hamper in some no, no, somebody no, no, plans. No, 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 no. What's your feelings on Joel and B coming back? Like, should he had a came back? Hmm, I don't know. That's a good question, man. Because you know, it was a light operation. It was like a scope. But like, if I was him, he feel like they got a championship team, and they were showing that they was contenders. The way he was playing. The, 
question is, can he get back to the way he was playing at the beginning of the season at an MVP rate this late in the season? Can he get back to that with only like six, seven games left? I don't know. I don't think it's enough time for him to get back to that level. I think, I don't know. I don't know. You know, big, what, you, what you think of that? What, what you think? You know, P, I've always said with Big Fella, you got you to gotta take it light. You can't, it's a marathon with Big Fella, you know? Yeah. You got to, you, you know, he fragile, bro. There's a couple times last night he fell or somebody fell. I think Chick rolled back on him or something. I would just, I would just cringe. You know, when you, when you, when you, when you, when you, when you out there and you, you know, you're not 100% yeah. and, and, and just to lose shit. Me fall on you, you know, you go down, you try to get the layup all of us fall. Like that, like, I'm just... I'm thinking about Joel and how fragile of, of him being hurt kills the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? Like Philly is in a is in a pickle where they actually got to figure out the balance of. And I think they've done a good job so far with Joel, but they've given him time off. They've been very patient with him and all this, and he's you know delivered and all. But I just think that his 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 carry is a heavy carry, bro. Like I know, uh, Mac, um, Max, he takes a little pressure off of him. No, Max but Pete, take pressure off of him. Not, not like he needed. He, he need like. Nah, a, they got it. They, they pretty good this year because Tobias been good this year. By committee, by committee. Kelly Oubre. By by committee, they've been decent. That's what I'm saying. You got to have your big fella in there, and he's used to really, um, really taking up all that offensive pressure. And those guys come in for defense. If you got corner threes, he out. But bro is rolling to the point where. Man, everybody on his back, and if you know what I'm saying, we just we rolling with Big Fella. And I, mean, I just I thought that that was a lot on him, bro. Now they're playing a different way. Look at look at Houston when they had Shun Goon. This is a similar, this is like a mirror situation. Your foundation, you know what I'm saying? The guy you go through, do offense and all that, he's out. Now look how uh, 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 the Sixers are playing. It's more up and down, Kelly Oubre. He, he's emerged. Like you start getting these little pieces that wasn't lit, P, that wasn't active. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think that's what Nick Nurse is trying to. I think he's trying to get um, what's the three point guy uh, from the Bahamas? Uh, 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 Buddy Hill. Buddy Hill. Think he's trying to get Buddy Hill into a rhythm. Think he's trying to get a uh, um, uh, Kelly Oubre. Kelly Oubre is in the rhythm. He gonna yeah, shit like your that. ass, talking shit, playing D. He he's out. They got some good pieces. They, 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 think, they think this reason. I'm gonna tell you why MB came back because they think they can get to the conference finals if they. If he's back, because I don't see no clear cut favorite in the East outside Boston. Bro, I would have sat and be down. I would have, I would have three, two weeks and got him in shape. He just been getting in shape, getting in shape. The last week, I'd have played him. Bro, bro, he looked like he looked exhausted. Like he had been doing shit. Yeah, he got five games nah, to get bro, ready. No, no, no. He was. I'm talking about. You know, you tie hands on knees, hands on knees. Yeah, right? but you can't. It don't matter nah. what you do until you get into that NBA game. Lord was on ankles. Man, what? Lord was on the ankles. No, listen. Until Lord you was get on that the ankles. A NBA game. Lord was on the ankles. He wasn't even hands on your knees. Yeah, until you get in that a in that NBA game, it don't matter what yeah, you do. It don't do. matter. All that, all that other shit. All the that pool. treadmill, the pool. Throw that out. All this one-on-one -on -one workouts, individual workouts. As soon as you get out here with that, that lateral. As soon as you get, <laughs> soon as you get in that game, you like, damn. <laughs> like straight up. You think they can get out of the plane? <laughs> they're they're two games out of getting into sixth place. Let me see. Can they get out of the plane? Let me look. You know what? The East is so fucking hell to scout. They only have six more games left. Fucking six Milwaukee. Games, Milwaukee. Milwaukee. Are y'all watching Milwaukee? 15 and 14 underdogs. Damn, right man. now, ain't nobody afraid of Milwaukee. Yeah. And that's scary. Right now, because they got teams two want to play Milwaukee. They all want Milwaukee first round. <laughs> they going to be scrapping at the bottom to get to Milwaukee. No, for real. They <laughs> you don't said want Milwaukee they... sweet right now? You can get a win no, in Milwaukee? No, but you don't want the team. You can get a win right Milwaukee sweet right now? It's Milwaukee sweet I mean, you right gotta, now. You gotta, uh, I'd rather play Milwaukee than Boston. Like, I'm serious. Like, all these teams in the play-in, they like, shoot, we're trying to get to the seventh seed. Mm. They trying to fight for that seven. Damn. People you want Milwaukee rather, like that? Huh? You'd rather play Milwaukee than Cleveland? I'd rather play Milwaukee than Cleveland. A healthy Cleveland team, Milwaukee. I don't just, I just think they've been in, because they've been a 500 team since. Dog, they, they a 500 team. Since the All Star break, around that they they haven't blown away nothing. Yeah, we know the playoffs is a whole new. Yeah, season, but I'm though. saying like they're not coming off they as have that. Damon Giannis too, huh? In the playoffs, Damon Giannis in the playoffs is a factor. But I'm just saying the way they playing now. Yeah, I got that. You know, when the Cleveland is healthy, are they more scary than Milwaukee? I'm saying what? I think yeah. 
When they health, yeah, both Donovan, teams healthy, that, both Donovan. teams full healthy. You saying Cleveland? I rather I think Cleveland got more chemistry than Milwaukee right now. I rather see I rather see Milwaukee. Mm. Like this is not. I mean, I know they got Giannis and Dame, but mm. I, I feel like they ain't got all that shit together. Right. Like they inconsistent. They definitely. Are. You know what I'm saying? They losing. You know they 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 losing to Washington. You know, professional I mean, team. like come on, they a professional team, but you should. It don't matter who you put out there. Fuck. Dame didn't play. You still got Gian, uh, Giannis out there. You should never lose to Washington when you're a contender. Man, they're my professional players over yeah, there. I they get can it. Put the ball I get in the it. hole. And they I lost. mean, I get it. I get Fuck it. You I mean, any given shit. night, still but an NBA team, though, bro. But that's a we consider that a bad loss. Facts. That's, that's you know what I'm saying. That's that's, that's, that's a bad absolutely. loss. Absolutely. That's a bad loss. You but, can't be having them type of bad losses like that. And I've seen a lot of bad losses from them. And that's what you're talking about. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I see them take a lot of bad losses, and so that's why I'm like, I'm not sure. Uh, if they can be, man, it's hard. That's that's a hard in the mix bet. down that's the stretch. Hard bet. Uh, Donovan Mitchell ain't even been healthy with. Yeah, he's just back though. He just uh, came back. Let's see, man. I need you. Man. If he healthy, then they they a problem. They are, but I don't know if they're a bigger problem than Milwaukee when healthy. That's what I'm saying. So I think the Knicks is more of a threat than Milwaukee. To keep it 100. Like a healthy Nick. No, nah, no, nah, look, I, I, I know I'm flipping the script on this because I'm, I'm, I'm seeing what Bronson right, one doing. Nick, one day you off the Nick, man, fuck the Nick, man, I was never on the Nick, the Nick. Lord, then you the here, one day the, I, the one day I roll the with the Nick, right, 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 right. I knew I should have jumped on the Nick. Shay, yo, dog, Shay, Shay made some unbelievable yeah, shit, though. Lord, the one day I jumped on the Nick's thing. Right. They lost. Right. Oh, yeah. We, I won bread. Oh, yeah. Don't worry yeah. about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we get there. But, yeah, you, you got to hear what you're saying, P. You, you know what I'm saying? The narrative for the Knicks is there for them. I swear. The, 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 I swear. Man, the, the Knicks, they got that new energy that we were just talking about, bro. They got a new energy to them, man. They just got to win them games they're supposed to win. But, man, that, that was a tough loss against OKC. But they, the Knicks... Man, I man, told you, they, D. Da Vinci, still, boy, man, nah, listen. they still, they still, they good. They Here you still, go. They still, Here you go. They still, now, now he off. Bro. Man, you, no, are you a Gemini saying, Lord? You, you a no, Gemini? I'm saying, no, I'm Libra. You know, we up and down. I know. Man, ain't no balance. I thought, <laughs> no. I thought, that, I thought Libra said it was a scale, right? Y'all supposed to have balance or somewhere, right? God damn. Uh, mm -hmm. Next thing I want to ask you guys about, Rondo recently just announced his retirement. He said he's done with the game. Uh, I just wanted to hear your guys' reaction to the news and any, any good stories you have on and off the court with Rondo. First off, shout out to Rondo on a Hall of Fame career, one of the best to ever do it. My God, congratulations, man. Word. Hey, next phase of life, baby. I it. need you at the Truth Lounge. It's time to get to <laughs> hell, baby. <laughs> Welcome to the club, dog. We love you, dog. I'll see you this summer. Yeah, Doe is always, uh, yeah, first off, shout to, shout to Nine, man. You know, I know, I know the work you're not putting in this, man. I know the countless hours, the psycho nights and the sleepless nights and film and all that shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? I just want to say, give you your flowers, man. I know you're not put the time and the work into this, so, you know, c congrats to you and yours, you and your family. And uh, I look forward to the next, the next endeavor. It's going to be dope because I feel like when Rondo speaks and when, well, this is kind of my, my um, wish that I hope that Rondo gives the world with anything that he does, to give a, people the chance to be inside of your head and see how you see it and see how the things that you would do is, is magnificent because he totally sees the game different. And when the savant, when we were to all be on the plane sitting in force, P would be right here. Somebody be across from P. I'm right here. We all be right here. The conversation here was a king conversation. Matter of fact, it was Ray. And we used to sit at the card table. We used to have this king conversation of just knowledge, of just, you know, play offensive. Because we all offensive players and we all can put it in the basket, but we all consider ourselves two defenders and just perspective. And uh, just to sit there and listen to Nah, man, you know, and watch him and hear his growth. From day one, him sitting there to day two, year two, him sitting there, and then year three, him sitting there, and then year four, and just watching him grow every year, yo, it was like, it was like a gift. It was like, wow. It was like, um, I know Chicago had their own D-Rose. I know OKC had 
<clears throat> their West Brooks and their young guards, but we had Rondo. And he was his own special thing in his own right. So, you know, to be around that, that young spirit and that young energy was, was a gift. So, congrats, Nine. Congrats, bro. You know what it is. All day, nine and five. You know what it is, right? Hey, man, Rondo just retired. Rondo just retired, so we right here. We on the set, man. Say what you want to say to Rondo retirement. Hey, man, congratulations to the King Rondo, man. Salute, much love, man. Brothers for life, man. I'm Buntu, bro. Congratulations oh, on your career, man. Well deserved. Right. That's what's up. All right, I'm we on the set. I'm going to hit you after. Right. All right. That's the grandfather. Yeah, yeah, right yeah. on cue. Shout out to T.A. Shout out to T.A. Uh, <laughs> right on cue. Let's go. All right, let's get some fan questions. Let's get the fans questions. Let's get it. All right, first question I have for you guys. Best signature move in NBA history. Best signature move in, in NBA history? Yeah. So, you know, Damn, hook shot. We, yeah, we got, got the hook the shot. We got the shake. big dipper. We got the dream shake. Dirk we got, fade. We got, yeah. What do you guys think? Best one. Shit, the Jordan the fade. Just, the best signature move. The Jordan fade. Jesus. The Jordan. Iverson crossover. Damn. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> the Iverson crossover was insane. You couldn't stop that. The Jordan fade. The Jordan fade. It got remixed by Cold, Cold fade. I would give Cole the Hezzy Pool mid range. Mm. His Hezzy Pool mid range, because you have to respect the drive where he just, oh man, he got that down. Like his Hezzy Pool. Uh, Tracy McGrady had a, uh, had a Hezzy Pool. Like he yeah. was going to pull, and almost like a Hezzy when he was going to cross you and pull it. You know what I'm saying? Him, him and Cole was good at that. The Dirk one leg. Yeah, Dirk one leg. Timmy off the glass. The Tim Hardaway killer crossover. Ooh, yeah, that was nasty. <laughs> the killer crossover. And you the know what's crazy? What they used to call that? The Texas. It was called the not the Texas two step, right? That's it what was, called it, was it, it called the Texas, Texas two step? Listen, and you it know what's crazy? Boom, boom. He used to go between his legs with that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was the UTEP, UTEP two step. Two -step. Yeah, yeah. Was, yeah. Tim Hardaway Tim giving Hardaway. him his that signature. Was that was Schmitty. crazy. Schmitty giving you oh, the ghost. The Schmitty, the, Schmitty the ghost, man. I mean, he's got Schmitty. Adam Sandler. Listen, listen, it. listen, real shit. The Schmitty Kareem could hit look. you with that shit full speed too, like ding, 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 ding. ding. You know what I'm saying? Rondo had a good, good signature. Yeah, Rondo oh, had the, the ghost. fake. Yeah, the, the fake. Rondo had the ghost. Oh, we yeah. called it the ghost. And now you see me, now you don't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that, yeah, that was, was killer. Hard. Yeah. Damn. Well, let me see. Today, who got the best? Who got the best today? No, all time is what I asked. All time, time signature yeah. move. I'ma say. Ice man had the finger roll. Okay, damn. Yeah, ice. How can we forget ice? You couldn't ice. stop. I ice, mean, nigga. Damn. Yeah, the ice. Kareem. We said the sky hook, right? Yeah, the Kareem. <sighs> you said that. The all-time greatest signature move. So it has to be something that. What right now, the all-time signature move right now is the P Pierce step back, bro. <laughs> Let's keep it 100. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, everybody's doing it now. I mean, everybody got it. If you don't got that in your game right now, dog, you can't be in the. All right, hold on. All right, I'll give you the Ginobili Euro. The Ginobili. <laughs> <laughs> what about the Ginobili Euro? You got ticket checked out. Man. Let me check out. <laughs> Y'all let me know in my second. Come on. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> like, this one, he lose you. You just go in and just, oh, man, you lose. Oh, shit, you're losing me, dog. <laughs> No, the Euro up there. Who? The Euro. Oh, yeah, the Euro. Yon Man, listen, I, I got to get Yon well, Giannis and uh, uh, James Harden. Nah, Man, listen, James yeah. Harden step backs, dog. Stop it. Stop. Stop it. James Harden doesn't get enough credit for birthing this generation. All these moves we see, the first person I saw do these moves in the summertime was James Harden. I was like, what is James doing? Right. Hell no, what right. the fuck? Right. Next thing right. I know, every trainer was teaching that same package yep. to every nigga. It didn't, didn't matter if you was a guard, forward, or center. Right. Now that's why the league looked like that. Right. Shit. He do have some influence he, uh, on that. Man, he, man, James Harden started the left, the triple. He started the triple. You remember Steph was talking shit about mocking yeah, him and shit? Doing and I'm start doing it. Right. Man, that's crazy. I never thought I'd see a triple, triple step back, P. How you setting up the triple oh, no, step it's back? the footwork, how he do How you stepping up? How you setting oh, up the step? It's the footwork. You know, I saw, you know what I saw a kid do? I saw a kid, I saw a kid cross, go to like he was going on a step back, and, and he was still live here, 
he, 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 didn't, he didn't put it down, people, but he, held, he hazarded it, hazarded it to the point where it looked like he was finna get it off. The nigga fool, he was. They don't call Kerry no they, more. No, no, no. How about the, how about the joint when the nigga stopped on the joint? You see this nigga when he, when he give you the euro, he'll stop on you? Right. You seen that one? Yeah, I seen that. Bro, how you do that full speed? You ain't doing that in no NBA game. Listen, bro. this is why the Europeans are probably better than some or most of the American players. Because they go at a pace where it ain't too fast and ain't too slow. You know what I'm saying? Like, to get that move off that I just said, bro, you, bro, just think about going full speed, stopping on the dot, man, shit. You got to have, like, a little pace to that. You know what I'm saying? Right? Because he going yeah. into a, and then stopping the, t- I'm like, that man. was that. You can't do that in the league. What? That, what you talking about? That pause? Yeah. I ain't seeing that in the league. That's some playground yeah, shit. Yeah. Uh, he, it was in organized. It was in organized. I don't it know what league it was. but it's play, that's still that playground. playground. That was that's a still league playground. That's a league move. That's a league move. Nah, they, you ain't getting that off in the league. Like the stop Euro? Nah. Nah, Cass is too quick. They coming. No. Nah. Yeah, I don't know. I know what, exactly what you're talking about, though. Listen, I saw that on Instagram. You can get all that. You can get all that off in the league. The right Euro now, and the step back is the most is the most killer. That's the, ki- the If you ain't got no Euro in your game, you can't hoop today? You can't hoop. You can't make it to the league. So you got a Euro package to go in the layup right now? Yeah. You do? Yeah, you gotta. Oh, we need to we need to send certified cameras over there to get this on tape. You got the you got the joint where you can. Uh, what the Euro me? Yeah, you. right now. I said you. Yeah, I got the. I just did it to somebody the other day. Baseline. You got the ugly uh, Gary Payton layup off the one leg where you licking. You know what I'm saying? I got the. No, no, no. You know the. Then you got to go off this leg off the wrong. You know? Yeah, no, no, no. This one. You got to look. Yeah, weird, like, yeah. No, like no, no, this. this one. The, the the weird one. Yeah, that. No, you that's that that's one? not the weird one. That's the regular one. This the weird one. Right. I'm talking about when you going both legs, both, you know what I'm talking about? You see, you, Juju, like you saw what Juju did the other night? Juju had to go, what and she had to go about? off the wrong leg. Yeah, you yeah, feel like, like, this is what you're talking about. Like, you like, uh, yeah, 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 yeah the, like the ugly ass yeah, leg. Yeah. I hate that motherfucker, like right, that, that shit yeah, ugly that's what, that's, shit. That's the one you're talking about. That shit ugly and nasty. <laughs> I'm like, why is this shit not firm? Yeah, that shit yeah. nasty. That's, the, one, that's the one you talking about. That's the worst about. layup in layup, man. Whoever made that layup right there, I fucking hate that layup. That's the one you talking about. I know what you talking Listen, about. Listen, I don't know why more guards don't get the shit beat out of them for that shit. Y'all, I fucking hate that shit. <laughs> T. Lou did me like that a long time ago. He was looking at me, he was looking at me. I was like, man, lay the ball up. He was like, yo, I fucking hate that layup. So right, t- next question I have for you guys. Strip away all the accolades. Who's the best pure hooper of all time? One game to win. The best pure hooper of all yeah. time. Yeah, championships, MVPs, none of that matters. Right. Best pure hooper. You talking about going outside, hooping? It says one game to win, so I'm gonna call it outside. Man, one you... game to win, best hooper. Hold on, I'm trying to understand the question. I'm sorry, just see me up. the accolades. So you're saying we outside going ones, going ones. Strip away the accolades. Yeah, it says strip away the accolades. It says one game to win. Man, I'm betting on me. What you mean? I can't. I, I can't get at to somebody else. What you mean? I gotta pick somebody. What, what we doing? Like I gotta pick somebody, and he gotta win the game. Like, that what you saying? I think you could say you're the best pure hooper of all man, time. Man, listen, man. I am. You put a bunch of niggas in the gym. Let's line the ass up. Let's go. Let's run it. I'm with that. Oh, that's Just right up the my alley. Best pure. I, hooper. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. I'm with that. I'm with that. I want to see where I'm at. I want to see if I'm the best in here or I ain't. Let, let's get it. Let's run it. Check. Ah, who won? You can get ball first. Let's run it. Let me see it. We saw that clip of you in the Olympics back Man, in the day running, running and up and And that wasn't even everybody. I know. You hear me? I'm with that. Hey, listen, Strip I'm with the one. Accolades. I actually think the NBA okay. should actually take on having one-on-ones. We, we need ones. Who, who's the best one-on-one player in the league right now? Ones. If you had, if you had the, the league. Best one-on-one player right in now. In the league right now. like Kyrie. Mm. Wow. If you just going once. Right, one. Yeah. Infinite dribbles? Yeah, you gotta go Kyrie on that. Infinite dribbles? Yeah. Yeah. Like you gotta go Kyrie on Even that. if you gave him five dribbles, he still yeah. Yeah. Kai right got now. a lot of that. He yeah, he got a lot of yeah, he got a lot of yeah, ghosts in his shit. So Pete, who do you got? He ticket set himself. Best who do you pure got? Pure hooper all time. Just pure hooper. Damn, Kyrie, one game to win. Damn. One game to win. Jimmy Buckets got some one-on-one game too, bro. Just like, what do you mean, one game to win? Just one game to win, take away the other. Oh, you talking about the pure? I guess he. I guess what I'm feeling like you're talking about. He's asking. You got the, All right, uh, I'm gonna go pure Hooper, Penny Hardaway. Pure Hooper. 
Just Hooper. Yeah, he, yeah, he's nice. <laughs> just, I seen Penny in the summer Orlando too. Hoop, Orlando yeah. Penny. Yeah, he was nice. Like without the, if you just Penny strip too. everybody the accolades and you just watch their game, man, he one of the coldest ever. Oh, okay, that's what. Okay, if that's the case, yeah. shit. Um, <laughs> Penny Hardaway was cold. Shit. He was. He, he got. He, he got everything. He was like Magic and Mike in one to me. Man, it sounds like you're asking who's the coldest nigga in the summertime. At least that's <laughs> right. Yeah, who the coldest? J.R. Nigga? Smith, nigga. J.R. Smith was the listen. J.R. Smith get buckets. What? <laughs> nigga, J.R. Smith show up to your shit. That nigga might do a 360 out the pick and roll and pull it. Nigga out the pick and roll and hit it. Nigga, I saw J.R. Smith. Listen, these the three motherfuckers I saw in the summer, and when I saw them in the league, they looked totally different. J.R. Smith, Twitter man. Y'all remember Twitter man? Uh, who is Jared that? Dudley. Y'all remember Jared Dudley? <laughs> Twitter man. I ain't know. I ain't Jared never Dudley seen, I ain't started never Twitter yeah. so much that we called him Twitter man. And, and listen, Jared Dudley in the summertime was an all-star. He'll tell you. Ask Joe Bullizard. He would go to Impact for three weeks and kill. Man, next time I see Jared Dudley, man, I'm sitting in the corner talking about playing defense or something. He don't even look the same. Now, you know who was killing the summer too? Nick Young. Oh, yeah. He's another one. <laughs> Nick, Nick, Young's, to the gym one day. Nick Young's summer game man. is off the charts. Him and, no, him, him and J.R. Smith Young. in the summer. Joe Johnson in the summer. Man. Ooh, Joe, Joe, ISO Joe. Joe Johnson in the summertime is, is much watched TV. Boy, that motherfucker be cooking here, be doing a little one leg. He be, Joe in the summertime got all type of cook. Oh, yeah. Them the three motherfuckers I saw in the summer, I was like, damn. And yeah, J.R. Smith sure. was in a. Went between his legs, spun, spun, spun again, and then went out of bounds fast. I was like, what the? Man, listen. I was like, yo, I can't believe I'm sitting here watching right, this right. shit. Yeah, them three. Nick Young in the summertime is. <laughs> man, yeah, Nick Young come to the gym. It's going to be some, yeah. I got play with Nick in the summer. Yeah, me too. Yeah, All Nick right, next, Young, next question I have. Uh, who would you guys want to mentor in the league today? Is there a player you see and you're like, man, I feel like I could help them with a certain element of their game? Is there a certain player you think of? Mm. I mean, shit, if you, you know, like, when you have the, um... Who would like, I want to mentor? Like, I sure, I'm sure that when Paul goes back to Boston and, you know, Tatum and, you know, Jay Brown sit there and holler at him, there's got to be some interaction on, you know, moves or, you know, just how you're thinking. So purposely, you know, when I see Porzingis or when I see Cat, you know, I see Ant-Man in the post, you know, I always think that, you know... I can actually bring some type of uh, knowledge or some help to what they're trying to do. Because, uh, you know, I can see them thinking. I can see them, you know, rejecting. You, you know, you can kind of see guys and how they're thinking or whatever. So to be able to throw guys script and help them in situations like Porzingis, I went, I went, you know, when I see him post up a lot of times, how he does it and how he gets to it, uh, I would, you know, recommend a whole nother way. You know what I'm saying? He gets some fouls on some of this. Then some of the guards stand him up at the free throw line. There's ways that he can get deeper and stuff. So when I'm watching it, of course you see yourself, right? So Porzingis, is, you could deep. Yeah, Porzingis, him. Porzingis probably. Just because I see uh, yeah, a yeah, lot of, yeah, because because we because we're Rondo and a lot of I ain't gonna go like that, but a lot of the stuff I see him do, I actually had done. I had right. to post it. The, P had to stand out, and if he came, I had to hit P. If not, I had to take this match up and win it. Sometimes I couldn't get four or five dribbles because Kurt Heinrich wouldn't let you. You know what I'm saying? So it was just a straight up and just go over the top type shit. So when I see him, you know, playing sometimes Cat too. A lot of times I see Cat trail and he'll have the other big and I'll be thinking, uh, is he on the same plateau with Rudy? Is he looking for, you know, stuff like this. You know what I'm saying? So probably Cat and uh, Porzingis, the two that stand out. What about uh, you? Let's see who I could think I could help who kind of like remind me of some of the things I did. Um, or just help them with that game and mental. Yeah, yeah. Probably like a young cat, and I watch I probably my boy Hami Vasquez, uh, R.J. Barrett maybe. Mm. R.J. Barrett, I think I can help. R.J. Barrett, yeah, R.J. Barrett, because Barrett, yeah. I think he can. He got another level he can get yeah, to. He do. He do. He can probably can be an all star. I think he could be a guy if I. And you know what, you Pete? Know, I, can, I can help him get there. He got a nice standstill three that he can actually add on mm -hmm. to. I think he need, he he needs another. He's level. solid. Yeah, he he's is. solid. Yeah, he, he's solid. But I think he can get to the no, next. He got level. another level in him. Yeah, where he can score the ball. So he'd probably be one. I, I think I can help. Him. Word. Yeah. I like hmm. that. All right, let's do some uh, game picks. 
Through the game picks of the yeah. week. Let's get into it. Yeah, we up. Yes, whoever sir. The, who the, whoever the Knicks playing, I'm going with the so Hustle. Take, take it. Clean sweep, 3-0. Thank you, That's Nate. Sweet. Appreciate you. Sweet. Paul, 1-2. and two. Hey, man, can I, can I get some of this wine? Let me get it's some of this wine. It's the end of the season man, award, I'm bro. talking about some of this wine. I got like 12 bottles of wine. I got people. It's at whoever. It's the number at the end of the season. Man, I'm going to come over there get a couple bottles of wine today, man. I had them came as ready, man. Don't be putting the dogs out there with the wine I got either, the, I got the, I got the, I got go the, through the dogs to get the wine. No, like. the wine, the came is, is the playoff wins. Right now, you get to the menage a trois. You know what I'm saying? The, Go the, ahead, Nate. The first game up, <laughs> Saturday. Saturday, Saturday. <laughs> Cavaliers at Lakers. Who do oh, we yeah, got? Yeah. You're talking all that shit. Afternoon you love the calf. Afternoon game. What time? 12, 1 o'clock. 12.30. Ooh. That means they got to get up at 8. Ugh. On the road. Oh, that's not good for the Lakers because they older. We're going Cavs. Older teams don't like to play early. We know that. And the Lakers, they've been rolling, playing well, and they're coming off a, a six-game road trip. Mm, they yeah. they they going at home, yeah. afternoon yeah. game. That first game. Nah, that back. first game at the game back. I got to go Cleveland on that one. Yeah, I always tell Bo this, man. That, that first game first back game off the back road home, trip. It's like, a, it's like a road yeah, game. Yeah, that, 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 that's going to be that's, that's gonna be tough. And yeah. it's afternoon. Uh, give, me the, give me the young Cleveland legs. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Give me Cleveland, dog. Come on, I'm going, that. I'm going Lakers. I know you are. You Lakers got on yellow today. The, 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 you got this, on this yellow. This is all you about Bruce Lee and Chief. No, nah, I'm saying you this got on Laker about colors. This energy and moving Chief. You, you got Laker saying? colors like, on, though, so you got to nah, ride. This ain't Laker colors right here. You feel me? What is it? Okay, so I think I'm going to go with the Lakers. I'm going to go with the Lakers. Although young boys got legs, I'm going to go with the more smarter <laughs> team. I'm going with, yeah, the Lakers. Give me the Lakers. All Check right, Sunday. <laughs> Sunday. Sunday. Pelicans at Phoenix. Ooh. Three o'clock game. Yeah, that's early. Ooh, give me, that's early. Give me Phoenix in this one. Word. Phoenix is rolling right now. Yeah, they just got some big wins. Yeah, My boy, that, man, first of all, what's the name? Uh, the last three times Booker played New Orleans is averaging 50. 50. You saw that? So, yeah. At New Orleans, though. Three times they played 50. Yeah, that's crazy. You got to send a message to him. <laughs> Man, if I'm new, if I'm Phoenix, I'm trying to I'm trying to get to New Orleans for the playoffs. <laughs> Man, uh, now somebody from New Orleans got to shut that down, dog. He he nah, too calm. He looking at them like listen, they 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 a box of chocolate listen, sees candy. There's a couple things that need Man, to go on before just, the year. Listen, this is on this is on the list. The Lakers got to beat the brakes off the Kings at least one time. Man, they've been smacking the Lakers. They come in there. Man, they coming in. Get it on in there. <laughs> get, man, get on out of here. They looking at the Lakers like, man, get on listen, out of here. They, listen, Lakers the, got her voice side. Straight, straight up. They, listen, the Lakers got to beat New, the brakes off sack. And, and New Orleans got to avoid Booker. And, and, and at from, all costs. somebody from New Orleans got to, like, have Booker, like, where he get 10. Like, not, it's got to be like, yeah, I, my only... My only goal in life was to lock this man down for, for the, each time we yeah, played for sure. Jones, like, where you at? Where you at, yo? Who you got? I'm Phoenix. Are you Phoenix? Yeah. Man, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take the Pelicans, man. All right, and then lastly, we got the New York Knicks going into Milwaukee to face the Bucks. <laughs> Milwaukee. <laughs> I'm never betting with the Knicks again. Every Wait. time I bet. So man, so man, what? This Milwaukee. Is a Gemini, dog. Just Milwaukee, bro. Who am I talking to? Paul and True. Milwaukee. You just Milwaukee. You just said the Knicks. I'm, I'm not rolling Milwaukee. with the Knicks no more. Every time I bet on them, they lose. <laughs> I'm rolling the Knicks. Man, I mean, I'm rolling emotional, Milwaukee, man. Milwaukee. That sounds emotional man, Milwaukee, with you, man. What's bro? up, Milwaukee, man? bro. Man, you and the Knicks was dating on the side of something? Oh, they, so? uh, they, the they, fuck, they, man? You sound man. emotional right now, dog. No, they, they Instagram. We, you know what Here I'm talking go. about. Here they Instagram. Go. I said they're more dangerous than Milwaukee. I said that. I still say they're more dangerous probably, but I'm not rolling. All right, take it. Who you got? I got the Knicks, man. Knicks hot right now. I don't know what Pete talking about. Pete talking about, you know what I'm saying? Milwaukee on the ropes right now. Boy, they rope a dope. What? You don't know what Milwaukee you going to get. You know what I'm saying? They in trouble, bro. So yeah, Milwaukee got to, these next three weeks, Milwaukee got to get it together. You got the Knicks, though. I got the Knicks, you got, boy. You got, you got and listen, the, if Shay don't make that, uh, Shay don't make that crazy uh, fall away, we 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 ain't even looking at it like this. I'm trying to tell it. you, Brunson owns something, boy. Brunson just coming out for sixty one in uh, San Antonio. Just like I said, if she didn't put that highlight on and that that, that blush on, we ain't looking at her like that. <laughs> no, let her get the sweating. <laughs> 
<laughs> eyelashes gonna come off. Give me the Knicks. <laughs> I got the Knicks. And those are the picks of the week. <laughs>